What's going on, Lucero? This is Danny from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're going to take a quick look at your website, see what's going on, and see if we can do anything for y'all. So right off the bat, I like your brush and roll painting. It's excellent over here. You have home, you have estimates, which is exactly what you want. Extended services. I don't even know what that means. Neither express estimates. Our team gallery reviews. One big giant thing you're missing here is a drop down menu with your services that you offer. I understand it says here interior and exterior painting done right. That lets people understand exactly what it is, plus brush and roll painting, sure. But you want people to come in here because people put painting in for a broad spectrum of things. They might just want their cabinet done, stuff like that. So you always want to give them the ability to pick the service they want, click on it, go to that page, read it, call you. That's another thing I'm going to talk about. You don't have a call button over here. Where's your, where's your phone number? That's a problem. Anyway, happy new year. Great. Uh, interior, exterior cabinet. See, you have all this stuff over here. It could have been a drop down menu too. You always want to make it easier for your people to get in contact with you. But I like this. Protect and rejuvenate the exterior of your home with a fresh new paint job. Excellent. Wall, ceiling, millwork. Cabinet, staircase, railings. Excellent. Okay, good. So you talk a little bit about what you're offering, but it can't be all that you're offering because I'm pretty sure you're going to do as well, um, you know, like uh, drywall repair. Um, I'm pretty sure you you maybe do deck and fence painting. Um, you know, I could be wrong, but, you know, typically from, you know, what I know uh, from, you know, what I've seen, that's a lot of what happens. I love the local and family owned, although you have two numbers on here, one for Washington and one for here. So that's great. Um, was your home built before 1978? Oh, okay. I mean, maybe. Although I'm in an apartment right now, so that doesn't matter. Exterior painting, Federal Way, Washington. So, okay, so it's going to be hard to say local when you have two numbers over here. Unless you have two offices and you have people who are local in each one, which is fine, but there's no distinction. So I don't know how you're trying to rank in both areas. So what I can do is just take a look at the back end. And let's find out exactly how it is you're doing that. So... And I don't even know if you want to rank for here or you want to rank for there, but right now let's just take a look at how you are coming up on Google. So I use a tool called Ahrefs. It lets me know exactly what's going on in the back end. So a UR rating is how much Google likes your website, and a DR rating is how much Google uh, trusts you. Uh, and they could be better. You know, you want them in the 30s and 40s ratio, one to one, and it all works with backlinks. Now, a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is when it actually returns back to your website. So you have 149 to 26. Doing all right, could do better. Uh, you also have 94 organic keywords. So 98, 94 different variations of what people might search for to find you. So let's find out what those are. You got brush and roll, uh, you got painting co, you got end painting. As you can see, there's volume for each of these and you're getting some traffic. Here's the bad thing. Uh, these aren't location specific. Any keyword you have, you want them to be location and service specific because then that makes sure that they're actually in your area. I don't know where this is. It could be, is that in Austin or is that in... Um, uh, Washington. So, I mean, if it's in Washington, great, but you know, you're searching for somebody searching for cabinet painting in Woodenvine, Woodenville. So it's uh there's 70 people a month search for that. You're not getting anyone because you're on page number two, close to three, I think. And in number two, exterior painting near me, not something you want to rank for because anyone in the world can search for that. So it's going to be hard to kind of, kind of do that. Omaha is fine. Brush and roll. I mean, Again, not really service specific, so you want, might want to be careful about that. So just scrolling through, and I'm not here to point fingers. I'm not here to do anything. I don't know if you're trying to rank where, but this is a great keyword, interior painting Seattle, 200 a month. You're not getting anyone because you're almost on page number four. So here's my, uh, here's my uh, uh, kind of advice, location and service specific. It seems like you're trying to rank more for Seattle than for um, – then for uh, this area over here, for uh, you know Austin, Texas, if that's the case, it's fine. If you're trying to rank in both, then of course there's always ways you can do that as well. But you have a lot of most of your keywords are for Seattle and not for uh, Austin. I'm not really finding any of that. Um, but you're doing well. Seattle house painting 450 zero because you're on page number eight. You know painters Kent Washington 30 zero. You're on page number six seven. Play I can't even pronounce that. Play up Washington 10 zero 59. As you can see. Yes, I'm going to give you credit for having, uh, you know, keywords that are very location specific. Unfortunately, you're not ranking for any of these guys. And if you're trying to rank for someplace like Austin, Texas over here, then you got to have keywords for Austin, Texas. So this is location and service specific. Let's see who pops up. By the way, location and service specific keywords will help create Google Ads. It's the basis for it. You got your GMB Google My Business profile. Definitely want to be in here. You're going to want to have one for Seattle. And you're going to want to have one for Austin. But you want to be in here because about 30, 40 percent of people will click on that. And then finally, you got yourself your organic search. You got Yelp as number one, text painting as number two. So let's find out who they are and what it is they're doing. 
So text pending home, they have drop down menus with secondary drop down menus for everything that they're offering, no matter how obscure. They have a click to call button over here. Their number is right up top where everyone can see it. Schedule a call, uh, offering on site and remote site estimates, which is fine. Remote might be a little annoying. You always want to go in person so you can build a relationship with the client. Anyway, see how they have Austin, Texas painting contractors. That's a keyword that they're going to rank for simply because it's on their website. Now, again, just because you have it on your website doesn't mean you're going to rank. There's ways you have to kind of do the content in order for that to work. Um, but as you can see, it's clean. They're talking about their services a little bit, not as much as I would like them to. Um, and they have a lot of content on their website. Now, you guys are ranking for two separate areas, which if you have them all on one page, you're going to clash and it's not going to be good, which is why you're not really ranking for anything that's really good because it's confusing Google to see two separate areas on one page. So you got to split them up. Anyway, let's take a look at the back end for textpainting.com. So they have a UR rating of 35 and DR rating of 29. They're doing awesome in this aspect. And not only that, but the ratio is almost in the 30s and almost ratio one to one. They have 1,720 backlinks to 240 referring domains with 1,100 organic keywords. Now, I've looked at their keywords. Not going to say it's great. Not going to say it's bad. They can definitely use work on that one, but they are ranking for enough keywords that it makes a difference. So like this one, I don't care about because it's a blog. Same with these guys. I don't care about those, but these I care about. These th Let's just look at these three. That's 1,050 people a month that search for different variations of Austin house painting or painters. And they're getting over 100 people a month to their website. Over 10%, actually, because they're in positions three and four. Now, everything else, I mean, I can keep on scrolling, and it'll just keep on showing. San Marcos, Texas, 150. They're getting 15 of them because they're in position number four. That's 10%. So, you know, if you're in positions one, two, and three, you'll typically typically get about 10, 20% of everyone who uh, is ranking. Now, all this traffic is coming to their website. Now, imagine if the same thing was going on for you guys, right? Right now, you're only bringing in 12 organic traffic and you're ranking in two separate areas, Washington and in Austin. Now, you're being very vague about where it is. You want to you kind of, you know, focus on one, like Austin, Texas and Seattle, Washington. You really want to, you know, let people know where it is and, you know, what it is you're, not where, but yeah, where it is and where it is you're trying to go for. So anyway, what can you do in order to help rank you? How does this really help you guys out? This is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to redo a bit of your, um, I would say overhaul a little bit of your website. Make sure that you're, you're, you're kind of showing different locations, one for Seattle and one for, one for Austin. Split those two up. Let people very clearly know that you're in different locations and uh, give them options. Whichever one you want to rank first as the homepage, however you want to do that. Clearly show your service pages and, uh, and you know, what it is you're offering. And then second, of course, you need to have content on those pages that make sense. If you're going to talk about Seattle, Washington and, you know, Austin, Texas on the same one, it's going to be a problem. So we got to get new, uh, you got to get content on there that makes sense. You got to get, uh, and you don't have to do anything with the service pages. Like that doesn't matter if it's, you know, Seattle or you know Austin, but I'm not going to give away all my tricks. Um, so content, then finally you need keywords, keywords that actually are service and location specific by your intent keywords, as we call them. So you can rank for them and get actual people to your website that makes sense to be there. Not, you know, randomly. And then finally, we got to get you more backlinks, stuff that actually work will help rank you and get you into a better position. Good thing is painters, Austin or text painters. You can simply use it from that. Find the really good ones. They have, they have 204 that are really good and, uh, start ranking and you'll be fine. Anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Other than that, you have a good one. Bye.